innovative design of the traditional Filipiniana bolera with beautiful enable fabric and hand dye beads designed by DC Creations. This representing her identity being part of the Igorot tribe. The dress is a contribution of the different weaving of the Cordillera to express her roots, but also in a way that addresses zero waste and uses organic materials to make substantiality and lives by upcycling. So, ladies and gentlemen, Nicole, Charlotte Nicole Ocampo, contestant number one. Number one. Contestant number two is Kirsten Provida. Her gown is a traditional Filipiniana dress in elegant black feather with sparkles and gems that add a modern twist to the usual pattern. Along with a long mermaid-like effect that perfectly fits of the dress as an all to my culture and background or as an all to her culture and background. She decides to go with a traditional gown. Ladies and gentlemen, Kirsten Provida. Well done. Beautiful gown. Now for battle number three, we have Janine Lavi. Janine Lavi, ladies and gentlemen. Janine is wearing a sparkly neon orange freestyle dress with lace, embroidery, and three dimensional light of the environment. It features a blonde neckline, front twist, and an open back design. Contestant number three is Janine Lovis. Very nice, luminous, luminous orange. You may be able to see her in the dark with this one. Look at that. Look at that wall. Beautiful. Contestant number three, we've got Cherry Partington. Cherry is from Aldershot, Hampshire. Her gown is created by, uh, by oh, she created the gown from scratch, ladies and gentlemen. The inspiration for this gown is from Philippine flag. Blue represents peace, truth, and justice. Red represents bravery, patriotism, and valor. And the white triangle representing uh, equality and brotherhood or community. Cherry Partington, ladies and gentlemen, is your contestant number four. She's from Aldershot, Hampshire. Turquoise uh, gown is an original that was designed and created in the Philippines by the highly acclaimed Filipino designer, the late Pepsi Herrera. The intricate beading of silver, pearl pearlized sequins, and rhinestones on the gown is entirely handmade. It took appro approximately 15 meters to make this gown, resulting in the fullness of the skirt that gives it the regal princess look. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Darlene Fernandez. That's number five. Wow, look at that flowing. So regal. I love that color. 
just reminds me of the sea. Sisa. Yes, beautiful. Reminds you of the Philippines, really. Isn't it? The pearl, the pearl. That's sister. right. The embellishment, the, the waves as well, Miguel. So let's welcome back all our contestants on stage. Yes. Welcome back, all the contestants on stage. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Number two, Kirsten Propida. Number three, we've got Janine Lavis from Nottingham. Number four, we have Cherry Partington. Cherry Partington from Hampshire. And then we have Last but not the least. Darlene Fernandez. Darlene Fernandez, also from Nottingham, ladies and gentlemen. Please yes. your eyes on our party queens. 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our Bilibili Bigotinas Nottingham 2024 on Twitter Evening Wave. Kayaka 